Hello, welcome to Angie B's house. I'm Angie B, and as I mentioned in my September haul, I was going to keep track of how much we spent on groceries this month as compared to last month. So we did a mini haul today, and I thought I'd share that with you. So let's get started. Okay, well, today we spent a total of $138.34. And uh, that does include a $50 MasterCard gift card that we're going to go ahead and use on various expenses um, that we have coming up in the next couple days, uh, such as medication. Okay, the first, other than that, then the first item that we purchased was an eight roll pack of Scott toilet tissue. That is normally. Oh, and we did get all this at Kroger. Uh, that is normally $7.99. It was on sale for $5.99. Um, the four pack was like $4.69, so it just made more sense to get the eight roll pack. The next thing we purchased was Kroger some jumbo eggs, a dozen. Uh, the dozen was $1.29. We got some Kroger sandwich bags, they were $1.19. And then uh, I was about out of waffles. We didn't get those the first time because we went to Walmart and they don't have the gluten-free waffles. So I got a package of Simple Truth. At this time I got the home style instead of the blueberry. And that package has eight waffles. That was $2.69. Now before I went noticed that my husband he had also picked up a package of the Vans gluten-free waffles there's only six waffles in that package these are blueberry flavored and the Vans just as a comparison the price of those per package uh, was $2.99 so uh, as I mentioned in my August haul um, I really like the simple truth because not only is it 30 cents a box cheaper you get two more waffles so much better value uh, the next thing we got was a bag of popcorn for my grandson a kitchen cooked is a brand that's primarily here in the Midwest and it's two dollars and forty nine cents it is a let's see here how big a package is it? oh it's a seven ounce package and then for my husband and I since we can't have popcorn uh, we bought two packages of the Chester's popcorn at two dollars a bag the next thing we purchased bring you over here didn't lay this out very well is we did purchase two cans of Campbell's Chunky Soup. Uh, we got the Chili Mac variety and those were $1.49 a can, regularly $2.49 a can. Next thing we got was an 8 ounce or 16, 16 ounce package of sour cream um, we do get the natural because if you look at the ingredients as you can see cultured cream skim milk which is cream and skim milk enzymes and that's it nothing but milk and enzymes so none of the extra fats uh, artificial fats artificial flavors it just milk and that actually ends up being usually the same price as the non-natural brilliant kind and that was a dollar twenty nine uh, which was forty cents off so normally a dollar sixty nine a package the next thing I purchased is some gluten-free crackers I've never had this brand I'm hoping that they taste a little bit better than the other crackers that I've purchased purchase that are also gluten-free it they are cheddar cheese flavor they're baked that's a four four and a half ounce bag and that was or those were four dollars and nineteen cents yeah considerably 
more expensive than traditional saltines. Uh, however, uh, you know, I do have to be gluten free. It has really helped uh, me considerably with problems, of, uh, you know, certain problems that I've been having. The next item we purchased was, let's see here, oh, it's a small can of Bush's Vegetarian Baked Beans. And not only they're vegetarian, but they're also fat free. And that small can is $1.59. We got a two liter bottle of caffeine free diet Pepsi. Uh, it's regular priced at $1.79, which is the same price as a 21 ounce bottle at most convenience stores and even at Kroger. It's the same price for the 21 ounce bottles. We go for the two liter. Um, the next thing we purchased is something my husband has begun drinking every day to help with his blood pressure. Done a lot of research on it and found that it works really well for that. Uh, and that is a jar of beet juice. It's 32 ounces. And he drinks four to six ounces a day. I should say guzzle it because it does not taste good. But it's $6.99 expensive but when you compare that to having to buy blood pressure every month or blood pressure medicine every month uh, it pretty much equals out okay and then we did purchase a small package of Nesquik chocolate milk for my grandson and that is Oops, let me put it back over here. That is $3.39. And for anyone who has a child that has trouble taking medication, chocolate milk works wonderful. Doctors even recommend it. Um, but it always reminds me of Mary Poppins in the song, A Spoonful of Sugar Helps the Medicine Go Down. It really does. The next thing we purchased was several snack bars for me uh, when I'm running late or out and about for lunch. Uh, I'll grab one of these to tide me over. I got three of the protein, two of the regular Luna bars, and then I tried to get this one. It was the same price as the Luna bars. Thought I would try it. It's his own perfect nutrition bar, double chocolate. Those were all 10 for 10, so a dollar piece. The next thing we purchased, we're almost done here, as I said it was a mini haul. Oh, okay, we did purchase uh, another bunch of bananas. Uh, that's another thing that we are trying to eat every day so we can get some additional potassium and iron. Uh, this, or the, uh, these bananas were 55 cents a pound. We got 2.53 pounds, so it came to $1.39. And then we purchased a canister of Kraft Parmesan cheese. Uh, it was $3.99 and 30 cents off, so normally $4.29. So it was always nice to get a little bit of savings. And then we did get a jar of Hellman's mayonnaise. It's uh, $4.39. We usually get the squeeze jar, but realized that the jar where you just take it out and not squeeze it uh, was a little less expensive and had more in it. So we decided to go that way. And then the last thing we purchased was some Pace Mild Picante Sauce. Um, we did purchase a couple days ago a package of Tostitos so we wanted to have ch I wanted to have chips and salsa that was normally $2.19 on sale for $2. So, again, my total for the cash back, the gift card, and all these groceries. I'll do one more pan for you. Oh, and I did forget to mention the water. I missed that. So, the water 
uh, is normally two ninety nine, dollars uh, It was on sale for $1.49. So I picked one of those up for my grandson. We have a hard time getting him to drink enough water, so this does help a lot to make sure he's well hydrated. Okay, so again, as I mentioned, for everything, it was $138.34. And that included uh, Kroger savings of $6.39. Now, difference between Kroger and Walmart is on Kroger, we also get fuel points. And so for every $100, you get 10 cents off a gallon. Um, this fuel points disorder was 162, so that did give us 10 cents off a gallon. Um, we have accumulated this month 253 points so that'll be 20 cents of a, off a gallon the next time we purchase gas at Kroger so that's another reason we enjoy Kroger and feel that maybe it's just as inexpensive as other stores because we really enjoy that lower price of gas that they offer through their fuel points so this is um, what we bought today and um, I will you know certainly add that to our totals so we can see what it is and how much we purchased or paid for this month in groceries. If you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. And I do want to thank you so much for watching. You have a great day.